Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to look at the steps on how to enable and log in with a root account on your Mac OS. We are running Mac OS Mojave. So let's look at how we do that right after this. So here we are logged onto our Mac. Now what you may not know is that by default, when you log into your Mac, you are not actually a root user. You are an administrator, but you don't have full root permissions. So if we're going into our system preferences area and I've got my users and groups, you'll see your user account and that is set to an admin. So that's generally will be set to an admin. But what you need to do is you need to actually go through some further steps to be able to enable uh, the root account to actually go and uh, essentially do commands that require root access. Now the way that we do this is we go into system preferences, which is just where we were just here. So into the Apple logo, system preferences, and then you click on users and groups, which is just where we were, like so. And you'll see your account listed on here. So click on the lock password to unlock your accounts. So that now I can make changes to this particular account. And I'm gonna click on login options down the bottom here, all right? Click on join down the bottom here, okay? Or edit if you are already connected to a domain, for example. Most of the time you may not be, if you're not, if this is say your personal computer. We're gonna click on the join, and this is gonna open up what's called open directory. So we click on open directory utility just here, all right? Now, within open directory, same thing, we unlock our Mac. So once that's unlocked, go to your top menu area just up here and select edit at the very top. And you'll see that there is an option there to enable your root user. Okay, so this is essentially gonna enable that account. It's gonna ask you to throw in a password and then verify that password. Now it's generally good practice to make this password different to another account on your computer because really if somebody gets access to your computer for whatever reason or they know your password or your password is simple and you've also enabled root access it's always good practice to have that root uh, because it is essentially full rights into everything on your computer to have a separate password for that and really now that you've got a root account set up you can then easily now log in as a root user and all that's required is you can essentially just log out of your own account uh, or switch user and then type in root as the login name and then the password for that root account. And when you log into the Mac, you'll be logging in essentially to the root profile, giving you full root access into your Mac. So again, use this sparingly. Um, it will have essentially full rights into your Mac itself. So it's also a good practice that once you have finished uh, with the root account, you do go and disable it, edit, disable root user, so if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.